The term life hack has taken over the internet in the past few years. You simply can't escape their buzz, and some of them are actually pretty helpful and can improve your life drastically. Today, we're gonna go over 10 life hacks that you definitely need to try. Like we said before, guys, the term life hack has spread like wildfire on social media and the internet in general over the past couple years. And let's be honest, some of it is super useful, but at the same time, there are a handful that just flat out don't work or are for things that you don't really see in everyday life. So let us do the work and research for you and just sit back and relax while we go over 10 life hacks that you need to try. Up first, you might have seen the thumbnail and wondered what this was about. Lemon juice actually can help kill infection on your eyes. No, don't directly squeeze it into your eye, but instead squeeze some juice onto a napkin and dab that over your eyelids. And this can help drastically reduce any sort of infection like pink eye, which if you guys have had before, know that it is not a fun thing to have to go through. And it makes you look really scary, honestly. You can barely open your eyes and you can honestly lose your vision for a short amount of time or permanently if it's not treated correctly. Correctly. Like I said, the acidity in the lemon helps reduce that infection, just something in a chemical reaction that helps kill it and make it go away. In our number nine spot, we have using dry tea bags to freshen up your dirty shoes and gym bags or school bags for that matter. But if you go to the gym often, you know that your sweaty clothes can make your bag smell terrible. And instead of investing in cleaning supplies that honestly cost way more than they should, you can just use a cheap tea bag that is dried. Don't soak it in water or anything, but you can keep it in your bag or shoes and they will freshen them right up and get them smelling like new. Or actually like the tea that you got. I prefer the smell of green tea. I love that smell for some reason. Coming in at number eight, we have heating up your food evenly. If you guys are like me, I'm a big leftover guy and I hate the feeling of when you microwave food and it's not fully hot all the way through. Then you gotta get up and go microwave it again and just it's kind of creepy to have cold food sometimes. In order to heat it up evenly, create a circle in the middle on the plate where there is just a gap of air. And for some reason, I don't know what it is, but that makes all the food heat up much more evenly in the microwave. Here's a picture for an example. Up at number seven, if you guys have ever done the dishes and had a clogged drain, it is one of the grossest things to ever to have to stick your hand down at the bottom and pull whatever is clogged out. And sometimes your garbage disposal will get clogged as well, which obviously you don't want to be putting your hand in there as that is very dangerous. In order to clear a clogged drain, all you have to do is pour a half cup of baking soda and a cup of vinegar into it. It's going to foam and then once it stops foaming, rinse down the sink and all your drains will be super clear. Also, this is a really good way to clean it environmentally as you're not leaving a big chemical footprint so that is always good as well up at number six if you guys have ever dropped your phone and cracked your camera lens which is a very common thing or your camera lens for some reason is just super blurry I'm not sure how this works but putting a piece of clear scotch tape over the front of it will make it less blurry and almost like new again I'm pretty good with my phones but my friend dropped his phone and his camera was cracked his selfie camera too so it bugged him a lot I told him this trick and now it works like new once again I really don't know why that works it just does halfway through at number five we have removing wrinkles in in your clothes really quickly without having to iron. I don't even have an ironing board and I've never ironed something in my life, but when my clothes are wrinkly, I've tried this before and it definitely works. You put your clothes into the dryer, run it on the hottest setting, but before you start it, put a couple ice cubes in there. What the ice cubes do is melt and then eventually steam, and that steam helps to run out all the wrinkles in the clothes. Up at number four, if you've ever wondered what your breath smells like and you're really stressing about it, it's a lot like BO at times where other people can smell it way better than you can because you're kind of used to it. So to truly smell what your breath is like, this sounds weird, but it does work. Lick your wrist, then wait 10 seconds as it dries, and then smell your wrist. If you're like me, this will make you instantly want to chew on a piece of gum because your breath was way worse than you thought. But it is a good way to check if you're ever on a date or in public and wondering what it's like. Up at number three, we have another way to freshen up your life, which is making your room smell a lot better. And this works really well in the summer when you have your fans or your AC on all the time. All you have to do is tape or attach a dryer sheet to the front of the fan or AC to where it's blowing out. And as that air is blowing out, it's being freshened by that dryer sheet and your whole room will smell fantastic after just about 10 to 15 minutes. I did this all summer and it kept my room smelling amazing. Up at number two guys we have making your phone speaker louder. I know this is a problem I have all the time. I swear my phone gets quieter and quieter every time I try to use it and if you're at the house just hanging out with friends and don't have a portable speaker for any reason you can just get a glass and put the phone facing with the speaker at the bottom into the glass and the way the acoustics work is the sound is bouncing up out of the glass and it amplifies it quite a bit. There is a definite difference difference and it's really nice when you're just hanging out with friends like I said it makes your phone quite a bit louder if you guys just want to listen to some music up in the very last is another organizational thing and that is stacking your clothes horizontally in your drawers to see which garment is which and also save a bit of space so instead of folding your clothes in the stack and just placing them in turn that sideways and put it in the drawer that way in that case you're saving a bit of space as well as being able to see what each individual garment is without having to lift all the clothes over and over I know that's something that has always really bugged me so guys hopefully these were able to 
tool to help you take some stress out of your life in the day to day and make things a lot easier. If you learned something new today or found a life hack that you're going to personally use, make sure you drop a like on the video. As always, we enjoyed making this video for you guys. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.